Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans. How are you doing? Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. You know, don't you? You know. Today, I'm joined by young Leon. Whereabouts are you from, Leon? Derby. Young Leon from Derby. Ooh. Yeah. Derby. Are you a Derby County fan? No, I'm a... No, no. In, <laughs> in sport. Pop. Well, my dad, my dad was a Forest fan. Right. Uh, but I'm a City fan, so... All right. Uh, yeah. Young Leon from Derby, and he's got 10 questions for the Porkster. And <laughs> I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions before we start. What was yeah. the first fight you ever saw at Leon? Uh, first fight I ever saw was Frotch Groves in 2013. Frotch Groves, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good fight. Good fight, yeah? Yeah. Great. And then um, after that, uh, I didn't watch box. I got I first got into boxing about three years ago when AJ first came on the scene. Yeah. I uh, started watching a lot of his fights and I really got into boxing then. You mean on world scene? Because AJ's been a pro now for seven and a half years. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, then. That's brilliant. Uh, ask the questions. Fire away, then. Fire away. Right. First question, Dylan white Povetkin. Uh, a lot of people were saying it was one-sided to Dylan, but I thought um, Povetkin should probably have been credited for what he'd done as well. Like He'd done really good getting down there on that left and, you know, straight up. Dylan couldn't do anything about it. But Povetkin's not getting credited. So, what do you think about that? I thought Dylan won first. Uh, sorry, I thought Povetkin won round one. Dylan won two, three, and four. Um, in the in the fourth, the bell saved Povetkin, but Dylan didn't jump on him. But I think they were flash knockdowns anyway. But I feel that Dylan White uh, with an accident waiting to happen. He's been fighting old men and treading water, hasn't he? Yeah. Malcolm Tan, Marius Vac, Lucas Brown. Uh, and, the, and obviously this one here, he got caught out with this one, but this one's here, decorated amateur and former world champion, isn't he? Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. in my opinion, Dylan White, like I just said, an accident waiting to happen. He got dropped against Parker. He got dropped against Rivers. They were life and deaths. Chisora two fights were life and death. I had him losing the first one. Joshua mm. iced him. And I think his profile's been built up around IFL and Sky Sports as this bad man yardy. But where were the bad man yardy at beginning of round five? Yeah. Where it were. And he got iced a conclusive finish. Now, Eddie Yearn goes on about, we need a conclusive finish. It's got to be a rematch, got to be a rematch. You know, when there's a close points loss or it could have gone either way or blah, blah, blah. Well, we had a conclusive finish and it wasn't even for a belt. So why is there a rematch and why is there a rumour doing rounds from Sky Production team that's going to be 25 quid? Because it's uh, another pay-per-view, another money in the pocket. Yeah, but they've just had a 20 quid one. So I was at a 25 quid one now because Povetkin's older. Dylan White's had another loss. So the fight don't get any better, does it? So why would you put it up? I don't get that. Nah, it's weird. Weird. So if Dylan White's got any sense, he'll stay away from the rematch like he stayed away from the mm. Joshua rematch. He did yeah. everything he could not to fight Joshua again. If you're offered a world title shot at Wembley for 5 million, plus maybe 5.5 on the upside, for four bells, why would you knock that back? Could you imagine Henry Cooper not wanting to fight Muhammad Ali for the world title? Yeah. Hey, what, You'd what, want to have a go at it, wouldn't you? Well, what, what, what's all that about? What are we in the game for? It's like, mm. I were very critical of Dennis Hobson for knocking back a British title fight with Tommy... Tommy Frank, uh, we Tommy Frank against Sonny Edwards. I were very, very critical. And Dennis is like, "Well, I want to build it up," and I'm like, "Dennis, the flyweights or super flyweights, whatever you want to call them," and it, and they're both undefeated and the British level. They'll come again if Tommy gets a loss. You bring him back like you did Clinton Woods, mm -hmm. but and he gets in there. It's got to be built up, got to be built up, and this and that and blah de blah. And I, 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 I couldn't get my head around that. I'm like, well, what, am I, "What am I doing here? What, what's going on here? What's happening?" And I think the same with Dylan White. When opportunity comes knocking, you're supposed to take it, aren't you? Yeah. Hey? 
opportunity yeah. came knocking for the the Holy Grail, Wembley Stadium, heavyweight championship of the world, Anthony Joshua and millions of pounds. And Dylan White yeah. didn't 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 take the didn't take the, the challenge, did he? Why? Because no. he was beat before, knocked out and roughed up. Why didn't he take that challenge? Or because he were getting pay-per-view behind the scenes and fighting lesser guys and thinking I'll just tick over doing this. Well, mm. that's just that bubble's been burst now, hasn't it? That's yeah. how I look at it. So badly advised, Dylan White. Whoever's advising him, they don't know what they're doing. Mm. So next good, question. Sorry, good luck to Povetkin and Dylan in the rematch. I wish them both well. Yeah. May the best man win. Go on, next question. John Fury, Mickey Theo, is it a publicity stunt? I don't know. Uh, I think it's been dragging on about six or seven months now, hasn't it? Mm. It's getting a bit... I don't know. They're both famous now, aren't they? But I like Mickey. I've met John. I met John uh, when he fought Neil Malpaz, 1989. He's a friend of mine from Doncaster, and John lost that fight. I was there. And I haven't met Mickey Theo. But... Pardon? Has he sent you the DVD yet, or has he put it up? No, oh, I sent him the DVD a couple of years. Has he not sent it back? No, I don't want it back. I gave him it. Oh. Uh, so, that's only footage of John having a fight. So I'm hopefully, John, <laughs> if you're watching, put that DVD out of you and Malpaz uh, <laughs> for area title. But I think that they're not going to fight. I think it's dragged on a bit now, hasn't it? Dragged on. and But I wish him all, all the best. I mean... This is how I look at it. John Fury's a fighting man. He's the best. <laughs> well, he put the challenge out, didn't he, to Tony Bellew, who's called out, Dana White, Mike Tyson, Evander Oldfield, Lennox Lewis, and Mick, and challenged everybody over 50. Mickey, oh, Mickey Fury yeah. accepted the challenge, didn't he? Yeah. Right. But I don't know what's happening with it. But I wish him all the best. But if John's playing the game, playing the media game... Good luck to him, because he's had a million pounds of a publicity off it, hasn't he? And so, yeah. but I don't, I don't think Mickey needs the money to fight. He's a successful businessman, from what I've heard. I actually know somebody who knows Mickey, a guy from yeah. the bodybuilding industry, and he, uh, he apparently Mickey's done really well for himself. So I wish him all the best, Mickey. If you're watching, you're welcome on Porky's Corner anytime. I'll, I'll come down and interview you in Essex. We'll get you on channel. We'll uh, have a bit of lunch and a giggle. Tell you some funny stories. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I wish him all the best. It would be nice to see him fight over four rounds with 16-ounce gloves on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a referee there. I think that would be good. John's saying he's in shape and he's ready. I, I can't understand yeah. why it can't be sorted. They don't need a crowd there. They're, all they need is me there with camera or Coogan with camera and we'll put it on YouTube yeah. and we'll donate the money when it comes on screen to charity. That's how you do it and get it over and done with. If it raises a couple of grand or if it raises 20 grand, it's still charity, isn't it? But yeah. it's been said and nobody's thrown a punch yet, have they? Nope. With all these call-outs, haven't we? Bellew, Dana White, Mike Tyson, Lennox, Evander Holyfield, and Mickey Theo, the six there, John not thrown a punch at anybody yet, has he? No. Nope. But to be fair, Mickey's not thrown a punch at John yet, has he? No, no. Nah, nah. so is John playing media game, calling all them out? It's all on IFL, isn't it? Am I telling it true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men there called out. So if John's playing media game, good luck to him because he's a, he's, a he's a very shrewd man. We're not fools as furious. <laughs> well... <laughs> We've been persecuted for 400 years. <laughs> he's, probably right. he's probably right about that, to be fair. But I wish him all the best. So, But I don't think the fight will happen. I think it's dragged on now. And yeah. I think they should just both just go about the business of the daily businesses now. But I think a bit of ego is involved in it. But if yeah. they didn't have a fight, I'd have a bet on Mickey Fio to stop him. Out of, not, not, out of, uh, not out of KO. I think he beats John through fitness, because he keeps his in good shape. I think John would tire. I think John mm. would come out with me. Yeah. I think he'd tire. But I, we don't know, do we? So, it needs <coughs> to be seen what happens, doesn't it? But Mickey's mm. no mug, so from what I've heard. So, All right, then moving on, Leon. 
Right, Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell up and coming fight. What do you reckon? Who's going to win? I think Ryan. Uh, I think Garcia wins him. Yeah, I think Garcia beats Luke Campbell. I think Luke Campbell's Euro level, in my opinion. Mm. My, Luke Campbell's not won a British title yet, has he? Um, I don't think so. No, he's only won a Commonwealth. And I might be wrong on that. Mm. But he's not won a British title yet, from what from what from what I gather. So I don't know. Let's have a look. See if I've got that right. Uh, two seconds. But yeah, go and watch your next question. Um, O'Hara Davies versus Tyrone McKenna. In my opinion, McKenna absolutely bossed the fight, but obviously the decision was given the other way. What What are your thoughts? I thought O'Hara just nicked it. Uh, I mm. thought it was a good fight and I wish you all the best I've met him I like him I had a good chat to him in Leeds a few years ago uh, I think he's a gentleman I think he's very humble obviously mm. Matchroom had him playing the game didn't they dying his hair Barry and told him to dye his hair and be a bit controversial I explained to him that he wanted to create a character but it all backfired it and then they ended up they ended up letting him down didn't they he's won a vacant mm. Commonwealth against Gary Sykes he got a vacant Commonwealth against Gary Sykes, Luke Campbell, and that's it basically. Rest of them are trinket title. Let me just turn this phone off because it'll end up doing my head in. So I've got Luke Campbell to get beat by Garcia, but I don't think Luke Campbell will be bothered. But you'd have thought, we, being a gold medalist, that Luke Campbell mm. uh, would have done a bit better in his career, wouldn't you? Olympic gold. Yeah. So I don't know, but he's earned money, but. He's not got the legacy yet, has he? Which is a shame. No. I wish him well. Right. Um, is Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury 3 going ahead? There's been no word from Wilder. I don't think it happens. I don't think it happens. I think Tyson fights Caballel in December. They could sell it as Caballel's undefeated. He beat Chisora and Chisora's on pay-per-view on Sky. So nobody can knock the fight. And I think they might put Joyce and Debar on the card. I could be wrong. Hmm. Right. Did you see uh, Taylor Kong Song? Taylor versus Kong Song. And yeah, did you? Uh, I thought it. Uh, I thought people are saying it, saying it was a massive body shot. Other people are saying he jumped on floor. I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. But Bob Arum can't come out, Amy and Eddie Earn, about fights when he, he he's serving that up, can he? Mm, I no. going down to body shops at world level. Shouldn't be. They're not. They're not no. doing something wrong if they're hitting deck after a body shot like that. Mm, yeah, and that's and from he stayed Carl down Frotch. as well. That's from Carl Frotch. He once said to me, "Look, world level fights, fighters shouldn't be going down to body shots. Mm. No, they're either not training hard in gym or they're doing something wrong." But yeah, he stayed down as well, didn't he? So yeah, yeah, he stayed down for quite a while as well after the fight. Yeah, and it, it made Josh Taylor look like an ice man, and it made Ben Davison look like Angelo Dundee, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. What do you think about uh, trainers at the moment, trainers situation? Do you think there's a lot of them that, that are learning how to alt pads and then they're making names for themselves on social media and gate crashing world scene? I think a lot of the trainers are doing quite well at the minute, to be honest, considering everything that's going on, like, the keeping them, the keeper, the box is all fit. Obviously, like they should be doing. Um, the gov- giving, they're able to give better ringside advice as well because there's no crowd, so it's easier for them to hear each other. So I think they're doing the best they can at the minute. But yeah. I guess we'll just see what happens in the future, won't we? Yeah. All right then. Right. Ask. The bias on Sky commentators and judges. What's your opinion? Yeah. Uh... It's out of control now, isn't it? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> We've got Adam Smith there, aren't you? He's head of boxing, mm. right? Bean. Bean's head of boxing. <laughs> and he's for, for Sky and the deal with Matchroom, we'll have an exclusive deal with Sky. And Adam Smith's doing press conferences and he's the head commentator and he's in boxing social and IFL interviews. He's everywhere in his Sky interviews. Mm. Adam Smith makes it about him, right? And mm. I don't think it's about Adam Smith already, Ern. It's about the boxers. It's not about the trainers. 
the editor boxings, the promoters. It's about the fighters, and we're not seeing that. We're not seeing it. When did when was the last time you seen Joshua Boazzi in an interview on IFL? Mm. But if you turn tell if you turn telly on, you've got uh, Adam Smith on there every day, piping yeah, up not so much. But what these YouTubers are not asking Adam Smith is they're not saying <laughs> Adam. Do you feel that the product's watered down in the last few years on Sky? Nobody's asking Adam Smith that. It's a simple question. Subscription fees and pay-per-view on top, is the product watered down? 2012, mm. Frotch Boutte, non-pay-per-view. Forward eight year, Eggington uh, against... Uh, oh, that kid Eggington just for Ted Ted uh, Cheeseman. Yeah, it was, yeah. However, yeah. Got, however got Ted Cheeseman... And on egg, pay per view, on, on headline. Two seconds, two seconds. What's happening, guys? I'm filming. We're going to keep, we're going to pipe down. Do what? I'll see you in six days because of the bus away. Right. Scoot, she's downstairs, I'm filming. <coughs> Sorry about that. I've got uh, mm-hmm. eight-year-old twins here, and uh, <laughs> it's cool. Happy <laughs> over something to do with an iPad, right? Uh, you were saying, go on. Um, about the bias on Sky. You're on about Adam Smith. Yeah, I think the bias is out of control now. It's on another level, and it festers mm. down from the top, from Adam Smith down to people like Macklin. Spencer mm. Oliver, Johnny Nelson, it festers down and they feel that they have to follow the lead. Now, if somebody mm. made a stance and said, hey, you know what, you've got that wrong, but you're not, you've got Tony Bellew agreeing with everything match room. Uh, and yeah. all, it's all a bit too clicky now. And what it's doing, it, what it's doing, it sends a message down to the pundits and then it sends a message down to the media, the YouTubers, and they're frightened yeah. to go against it. So then you create this narrative being created it's like a vicious circle with the the ed commentator because he's the front line adam smith anyway when there's a fight on yeah. it down from adam smith it goes down to johnny he's anchor and then from johnny it goes to juggy as oliver tony bell you the disappearing man and all, uh, darren barker and all the rest of me it filters yeah. down and then the YouTubers follow the lead, don't they? And nobody's asking yeah. the real questions like, Adam, do you feel the product's watered down? That's a simple question. And Adam yeah. will come back with a political, a politician answer, sorry, and say, well, we're striving to make it better. Well, they're obviously not, are they? No, it's been the same now for God knows how long. Do you know, a few years ago, Eddie Hearn put something out, right? And he said, I'll tell you what fight it were, two seconds. I'll tell you what fight it were. And he said, do you remember, he said he weren't, he weren't messing about with the, I think it was my mate, he'll send me, here we are, here we are, here we are. He said he weren't messing about with boxing, they were doing the job right. His exact words were, I think this is, this is going back nine years. I think promoters have become lazy and thought Sky will put up with a Commonwealth title fight topping the bill. And an eight, mm. round, eight round chief support. Right? Well, that's what Eddie Earn said. Right? And what have we just had? We've just had Felix Cash <laughs> against Jason Wellburn for a Commonwealth title headlining in 2020. Yeah. That to me is watered down. But nobody <laughs> said, Eddie, back in the day, you said them days were gone. Well, <clears throat> It obviously, it isn't, is it because you've just seen what he's put on, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. When you pull people and questions like that, you're a good media guy or a good YouTube guy, but nobody is asking the right questions. Not Umar. I've just seen an interview with Umar. He's, he's basically giving his own opinion in interviews with Frank yeah. Warren and agreeing with everything Frank said. His job is to ask questions and get Frank. Yeah. Not tickle Frank's arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> right, please to be in the company of these people because they know they're getting views, but they're not asking proper questions. And let me tell you this: I've gone steady on Frank for a while, like because yeah. it's the rebuilding phase. But Frank, when he gets back to where he wants to be, he'll just do the same because 
they can't help it. And this has been going on since 1980s with these two families, Warrens and mm. Earns. They've been milking it for years and there's got to be change. This is why Frank's been with every TV company. Frank had nowhere to go when it, after Sky last time, so we had to set Box Nation up, but that failed, mm. didn't it? So this yeah, is just last, about. This is last <laughs> night nice with BT Sport for Frank. Mm, I remember watching fights on Box Nation. <laughs> well, where's Frank going to go if, if BT drop him? So he's got to up his game. And to be fair, he has yeah. decent shows on. But lately, I don't think they've been that good. They keep talking about Joyce DeBar. Can't keep moving date on that on that and paying fighters lip service. Get them nah. at it and let them take less money. You don't need no yeah. fans there. Keep them earning. Do you know what I mean? You can't mm. keep announcing fights and not putting them out there. You've got to get the earn credit. It's very rare he pulls a show. But Frank's pulled more shows than he's pulled jumpers on his off his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they've been getting away with murder, these people, and somebody needs to pull them up on it. But these YouTubers, they're not doing it. Why ain't Coogan asking Eddie Earn about this? The, well, I'm yeah. there, about Eddie's comments from nine years ago and his latest shows on Eddie's daily COVID uh, update. Mm. I mean, it's all right for that, isn't it? Get, Eddie's got his own reality TV program now, hasn't he? An hour a day with Coogan. And he's released a book. Yeah, well, oh, don't even get me started on that, mate. I know, he's done that so that people look him up because of COVID and then, oh, there's a book there, I might just buy that. So, what uh, what, what else do you want to ask? Right, Lomachenko v. Tiafimo. Not bought by any British TV broadcaster, but it's free in America. Or, what, what's that, man? Or Crawford against Brook. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they've got money. I think they're all panicking and struggling. They've done the budgets in the beginning of the year and the pandemic's caught them all out. So they're trying yeah. to do everything that cheap. There's no money in the pot. No. And I think boxing's struggling. If you can't put Lomachenko on against Lopez, but yet you can put Luke Campbell on against uh, Luke Campbell against uh, uh, Lope, what's he called? Lomachenko. But you can't put these on. I think that's crazy. Yeah. Crawford. Yeah. Look, I don't think Kelbrook wins that fight, but it's a match on fight, really. That should be getting put on yeah. Sky, shouldn't it? Yeah, surely. Surely it should it's be. poor form, so I agree with Bob Aram there. They can't have it all their own way. And they've got to mm. start serving up for fans now, and they've got to give us something back. Mm. They can't keep putting their hands in the pocket. Because this pandemic, if it's another year, boxing could be gone, I've been told. You reckon? Yeah, they reckon it all could be over if something doesn't happen, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's mad. Yeah. Crazy. Right, next question. Daniel Dubois versus Richard Latte. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do, yeah. Four or five days' notice Richard Latte had, and he gave him more. What if he'd have had full training? I don't think it'd have made much difference. No? No. I think Dubois real deal, but I don't think that'd have made much difference at all. But mm. boy, it was a good fight. He only really... Look, he didn't really do that well. He had he had a couple of he had a good nine or ten seconds. It was a bit like Dylan White, Joshua. That everybody at mm. matching were talking about it like it were a life and death. I didn't think it were a life and death. It was the first time we seen somebody at Joshua back, and I thought that mm. was a bit like with that with the bar. It was the first time somebody had actually hit him. Yeah, he, yeah. He took it well and he dealt with it. So I don't think it were that. I don't think it were a life and death. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I've got I've got one more question. Where is Dean White? I don't know where. Where he is, is he? I don't know where he is. He's been very quiet, hasn't he? Part of the Bean Masons, I think. To be honest, <laughs> I like that one. Blame Steve Wellings for that. <laughs> that was his idea, not mine. I don't know where, anyone... but he, he's obviously got plenty to say for himself, hasn't he, Dean White? Oh. He's in every interview whenever you see it. But, he uh, needs to get himself on Porky's Corner. I don't. I won't have him on here if you paid me. He's not well. <laughs> come on, he can come on, but they're not going to come on, are they? But I don't think my lifestyle is going to change if they don't come on here. So we're we're all right. We're in a good place. But if they don't come on, they don't come on. What can you do? All we can do is yeah. just keep them away, can't we? Right. I'll go through these few here then, and uh, let you, we'll, we'll test your art. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll make sure that we we haven't already spoke about the Daniel Sky Sports like. Oh, that one. Oh. 
Uh, oh. We spoke about Umar hanging out at back for Frank, Frank Warren, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Rema. Yeah. Why hasn't the Hearn show been cancelled due to his test? He's been with all the he's been around all these fighters. Why hasn't Eddie's show that's on tonight been cancelled? Is it is it all the Go on, sorry. Go on. I was gonna say Eddie's obviously tested positive for COVID, and so he's saying. But why hasn't the show been cancelled? Because Eddie's surely been around all these fighters, hasn't he? Mm. So I don't know what the protocol is for that. Aren't these fighters supposed to out to self isolate now because they've been in contact with Eddie? Yeah, true. Yeah. So even though they passed the test, aren't they supposed? Uh, in, in the government rules suggesting that they have to self isolate. But Eddie's saying he can't meet he can't meet Frank tomorrow now for lunch. But why can't they just do it on do Zoom? it every Zoom or do it on on on, on telephone? Why, why, yeah, why yeah. do they have to meet in person? It's not about them, they keep saying, don't they? It's about the fights. Mm. Well, just phone each other up. Phone each other up and make the fights. You don't need to meet. Yeah, you don't even need, need to meet. Just phone each other up. That's all they've got to mm. do. But maybe they don't trust each other and they need to meet in face-to-face. I don't, I don't know. But uh, the next question I wanted to ask you was... Uh, Two seconds. Two seconds. Uh, what did you think about Tyson Fury selling Gypsy King T-shirts for ninety quid? Ninety quid? Did you buy one? What? No. <laughs> no way. Jeez, ninety quid. Now. Ninety quid for a T-shirt? That's not bad. Is oh it? my! That no, nah, that's just extortionate. Jesus. <laughs> 90 quid yeah what, what do you think that? I think that's a bit there yeah just a bit if it was like go on sorry I think like 50 60 maybe but not 90 Jesus Christ mm. alright what do you think Carl Froch needs to be uh, back on Sky for Chisora Usek pay per view yeah yeah definitely Adam Smith you're wrong and we're calling get for- rid of him we're calling for you to get the Cobra back on. He's the Roy Keane of boxing. <laughs> Step down, Dean. Get rid Step of all down. the rest of them. Bell you. We don't want him on there. We don't want Mark. <laughs> we don't want Spencer Oliver on there. And we definitely <laughs> want Johnny Company Man Nelson. <laughs> all the live stuff. Get rid. <laughs> Bean as well. You must resign because you're creepy. <laughs> resign. Resign, creepy Bean. Yeah, creepy Bean. Yeah, Jigsaw. <laughs> Rumpel stilt skin. Yeah, you like that one. <laughs> yeah, we know where you are. Where's the bodies? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Do you feel now that it's trendy to say that you've got COVID? Because like we've had presidents and prime ministers and Oscar-winning actors having it. And do you feel that when Donald Trump came out and said he had it, do you feel that Eddie Earn two hours later coming out saying that he had it? Do you think he's just jumped on the PR? campaign we is covid um i don't know because the, the numbers have been going up quite a lot and like uh, a load of people i know a couple of people from my college who have had covid um but it seems very coincidental but i don't think it's fake i think he does actually have covid yeah um, yeah yeah i think he does yeah well i don't believe anything eddie says do you know why so once you've caught somebody out lying, how can you believe anything they say again? If it were a court of law, nobody would believe mm. Eddie, would they? They say Eddie, nah, true. you can't put you in, Doc, to give evidence against this burglar. Eddie, you go, why this? Because uh, you're self-confessed liar, Eddie. Mm. You've made lying like in I, form. Like I said as well, he's, people are going to hear that he's had COVID. So they're going to look him up. They're going to see that he's got a book and then, oh, I might just buy that book. There you go. You know what I mean? Uh. So there's been two positive tests then from the from the matchroom bubble in Milton Keynes. Obviously, we've had Eddie Earn, yeah, uh, Barry Earn, but there's been a third test. But this one's for AIDS, and it's the uh, Joshua Boazzi show. What do you think to that? Ooh. Well, uh, pretty accurate. <laughs> pretty accurate. I mean, Eddie says that they're not going to put shows on the Commonwealth level stuff and that. But what is this? It's not even yeah, it's, headline acts. Not even that, is it? 
pure hi- hypocrisy, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, do you think, it, like I said, do you think it's a, a gimme? Do you think Eddie Hills, the 4-0 super heavyweight amateur star, flee by way of KO, you think that it's just a gimmick for Eddie to get a bit of PR? Probably, yeah, to be honest. I mean, what do you think about the testers telling Frank Eubank about it? Sorry, Frank Smith. Telling Frank Smith about the the, the test that Eddie's failed before they told Eddie, and it, but yet Eddie employs them to do all testing. Do you believe that? No, I don't believe that at all. That's I think that's a load of bull, to be honest. I mean, when Dylan White failed that drug test, did they tell Frank first then? Because they nope. did, if you go on IFL, they did. They told Frank first, apparently. Eddie did they? Call off Frank Smith. Does everything have to go through Frank Smith? I don't know, but. Uh... Maybe know. it's just because he's a promoter. I don't know. Frank's not a promoter. He's Eddie's right hand man, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he's pretty much like next step, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think to Barry Earn copying, catching it as well? Oh, Baza. I think to be honest, it's just the like they're trying to ex- like they're trying to say that it's a bad thing, so that like. Here's what I think. I think that Eddie Earn's saying that he's got it because he wants people to think it's serious, so that's why he's not putting these shows on, when in reality he can't get the shows because of the government guidelines. Yeah. If you get what I mean. Yeah, it's uh, exciting times ahead. This is yeah. why we love this sport so much, Johnny. <laughs> he's working well down there to the body there, Johnny. That will pay dividends <laughs> later. Rough, tough, rugged, durable, <laughs> all action, compelling, added spice. Spectacular. Spectacular. <laughs> Boxing's flying at the moment with Anthony Joshua and Katie Taylor. <laughs> the ever-expanding yeah. gym of Steffi Bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, no, oh, it's only we. It's only, we only had a bit of comedy. We don't. We don't mean any harm to any of them, do we? No, no. You no. Put yourself out there. You've got to be prepared to take it on the chin from the poster. Yep. You can't just keep going out there and spinning narratives and telling massive whoppers. I think that I'm not <laughs> going out about it, can you? <laughs> Porky's on you. He's on your case, <laughs> mate. <laughs> anyway, listen. It's been fantastic having you on, Liam. Yeah, it's been nice being here, Porky. Today on a Sunday morning. I hope you're going to come on yeah. again. You know I hope so as well. Uh, so, all right then. Well, listen, you take care. You too. Thanks for coming. And uh, all the best to you and your family living out there in Derby. I'll let you go get a bit of roast dinner now, lad. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Has your mum cooked you some roast dinner? Uh, my nana has, yeah. <laughs> You'll get some roast dinner, Dan. You with your nana, lad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> See you later. I don't have nightmares. <laughs> You're nicking my lines. All right. <laughs> All right. See ya. Well, that was uh, Leon from Derby. Uh, I think it's Leon Ward from Derby. Uh, enjoys his boxing, doesn't he? So, so that's all good, isn't it? Uh, so just just a little one today, a little uh, little teaser for you. We're saving big stuff for this week, but uh, and I hope everybody's enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button and share it amongst your pals if you like it. If you didn't like the video, don't share it because if I watch something and I don't like it, I don't share it. If I like it, I always share it. But I want to thank all them people for. Uh, liking and subscribing because you're helping grow the channel and I mean that from the bottom of my heart all right so peace out keep on trucking as Leon's just said keep supporting boxing don't have nightmares I figure I'd turn this off now <laughs>